This is Jain and Inishri Tunnel in Jammu and Kashmir, India. It is located in the lower Himalayas on National Highway 44. The construction was started in 2011 and was completed by 2017. It is India's one of the longest road tunnels with a length of 9.28 kilometers and the country's first tunnel with a fully integrated tunnel control system. It reduces the distance between Jammu and Srinagar by 30 kilometers and travel time by two hours. The all-weather tunnel bypasses snowfall and avalanche-prone areas in winter at places like Patnito, Kud and Batote that obstruct NH44 every winter and cause long queues of vehicles, sometimes for days. The tunnel comprises two tubes that run parallel to each other. The main traffic tunnel of diameter 13 meters and a separate safety or escape tunnel of diameter 6 meters alongside. The two tubes, each approximately 9 kilometers long, are connected by 29 cross passages at regular intervals of every 300 meters along the entire length of the tunnel. These passages add up to about one kilometer of tunnel length and the main and escape tubes plus the cross passages make up about 19 kilometers of tunnel length. Since such a long tunnel could present the problem of a lack of oxygen, to ensure that there is no excessive carbon dioxide buildup inside, there are several exhaust meters that will check the air all through the length of the tunnel. With inlets every 8 meters, bringing fresh air into the main tube and exhaust outlets every 100 meters opening into the escape tube, the tunnel is the country's first and the world's sixth road tunnel with a transverse ventilation system. Transverse ventilation will keep tailpipe smoke inside the tunnel at a minimum level in order to prevent suffocation and keep visibility at acceptable levels, especially since the tunnel is so long. The 29 cross passages between the two tunnels will be used to evacuate. Through the escape tunnel, a user who might be in distress or to tow away any vehicle that might have broken down in the main tunnel. A total of 124 cameras and a linear heat detection system inside the tunnel will alert the integrated tunnel control room, ITCR, located outside the tunnel to the need for intervention. In the case of a traffic violation, the control room informs the traffic police deployed outside the tunnel who shall impose a fine on errant drivers on the spot. SOS boxes installed every 150 meters will act as emergency hotlines for commuters in distress. To connect to the ITCR to seek help, one would only need to open the door of the SOS box and say, Hello, said an executive of the project. Commuters can use their mobile phones inside the tunnel. To prevent diminution of vision as a result of change in the light while going in or coming out of the tunnel, the lighting inside has been adjusted at a gradient of luminous strength. The tunnel is built with fire safety measures. As soon as sensors detect fire, a safety protocol will kick in and the pushing of fresh air will stop and only exhausts will function. Longitudinal exhaust fans installed at regular intervals will concentrate on 300 meters on either side of the fire, pushing the smoke upward. Ambulances or vehicles carrying foam will rush through the escape tunnel to evacuate commuters and fight the fire. 
The heat detection system inside the tunnel will record rises in temperature in the tunnel. The result of excessive emissions which may be caused by one or more vehicles. In such cases, the ITCR will get in touch with staff inside the tunnel and the offending vehicle will be pulled over into a lay-by and subsequently removed by a crane through the parallel escape tunnel. The tunnel is located at an altitude of nearly 4,000 feet in difficult Himalayan terrain. Despite having been excavated in such geographic conditions, both tubes are completely waterproof. Because of this two-lane tunnel, the distance between Chenani and Nashri and hence between Jammu and Srinagar is reduced by 30 kilometers and travel time is cut by two hours. The tunnel bypasses 44 avalanche and landslide-prone spots on the highway. It is an all-weather tunnel and enables an increase in trade and tourism in the state. The tunnel also has parking spots in case of vehicle breakdowns. The construction involved nearly 1,500 engineers, geologists and laborers, besides skilled workers. The National Highways Authority of India has spent 3,720 crore rupees on the project. The foundation was laid for the project in July 2011 by the then Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Omar Abdullah with Union Health Minister Ghulam Nabi Azad under the ruling UPA government. However, the project stalled for the next few years and saw wide fluctuations in estimates with funding difficulties. The project was getting delayed due to bad weather conditions and snowfall on the highway, which snapped the electricity supply to the area, and so the executing agency was unable to continue with the required testing and inspection processes. Finally, the tunnel was inaugurated on 2nd April 2017.